Hello, and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker. So, what's going on with the Jixer? We're going to talk through it, we're going to talk about what I have replaced, that I haven't replaced, that I'm going to replace, that I have to replace. Um, and we're also going to talk about a few really nice people who have helped me out recently on this bike. So, um, basically, yeah, I suppose let's, let's talk about the damage. So, it's nothing horribly bad, um, to be honest. Main damage that stuff that was absolutely definitely broken that I had to replace was um, the brake lever. <laughs> uh, one of the engine mounting bolts where the bung was in, which I've shown previously, and I got that out. I'm playing a clip now. Okay, so we're just filming on my phone because we're nearly there, I think. And I've been just trying to get this bolt out. And you know, you're, you're gonna see all the updates oh, in another video. That is one of the most beautiful sights I have ever seen, folks. That is what we call success. Oh, that is. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I, I can't believe I did it. <laughs> that was that was the worst part about crashing the Jixer is, is this bold. I don't even know how long I've been out here. I, I have no idea, but I got it out. I got the bendy, the bendy bold out. It would have been a lot easier to take out if it wasn't for, um, for the fact that it's like so super deformed there at the top and, and, and whatever else, but that is a relief. That is a relief because I have the new frame sliders on the way. I'll just bolt up there now. My treads, my treads are clearly very good. Yes, I am. I am happy. Well, I mean, like I'm still sad I crashed the bike, but I, this this makes me happy. That clip is full of my joy of actually uh, getting that job done. It, some of those jobs just require patience, and luckily, I am able to channel my inner patient human uh, when I'm doing those. So it's it's helpful. Why are you focusing? Yeah, focus my face. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, um, so that's one thing you know. With with the the the, the bike having that bent bolt, um, I just had to channel channel my inner saint and, and 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 get it out really slowly, which was great and it worked. So all's well that ends well. Um, the other thing I have something to show you. Here's the damaged fairing, um, which is is not nice. But it has lots of the parts I need on it and stuff. So. Yay. And then here is the fairing that I bought on eBay. As you can see, it is pretty much scratch free. It has a few small dings. It is used and definitely uh, someone didn't love their bike as much as I loved my bike before I crashed it. Yeah, I really can't judge anyone anymore. Um, <laughs> but basically it's, it's, a, it's a direct replacement, a direct factory replacement for the bike. So the bike will be back it's going to be fine, you know, it's going to be fine with that, that new fairing on. So like my indicator is broken, stuff like that, but that, that's all fixable. Um, and the rear set's broken. Now, I did get replacement bits from AVDB, um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run through fitting those in a minute because I want to move their positioning as well. But I'm not altogether happy. So first I reached out to AVDB and asked them, hey, um, I crashed my bike, your rear set was on it. Rear set did a great job actually saving the good chunk of my bike. Um, but now I can't buy spare parts for your rear sets. And they said, oh yeah, we don't do spare parts. So I had to buy another set of rear sets, which really sucked because I'd already had to spend money on fixing other bits of the bike. Really not great. Um, now, buying two sets of their rear sets was still cheaper than buying like a G-Lays or however you pronounce it, something like that. Um, but I don't know what I buy them again. So that, just because of that, like spare parts are important. If you're, if you're gonna bring a bike on the track, you often get custom rear sets to, to make it more comfortable for you and, and set upright. And that worked, but not being able to buy spare parts kind of sucks. And they also forgot a bolt. And when I reached out to them to ask for a bolt, their solution was go to a local hardware store and get one and we'll give you a partial refund. I'm not being funny, but that's, that's, that's just not a great response. I mean, I did find a bolt, but that's not the point. Like I actually had a bolt here, but that's not the point. You're, you should send everything in the kit. This lever, this the brake lever is from them as well. Like their stuff, 
their stuff's really good quality, um, but I'm just not impressed with that, and it's a poor answer as well, so be warned. So other than that, the only things I'm actually waiting for to get this bike, say, to 100% is the exhaust from Dominator, which is ordered, and um, the crash bungs and engine mount from RNG. I'm going to throw it back together today. It's going to be rideable with the, the busted exhaust and uh, just a, a bolt for the engine mount bolt. I have lots of stainless bolts, so one of them will do for now. What we're going to do now is go into fast forward mode, um, fit the new rear set, and we're also going to uh, throw on the new fairing probably. New bolt, engine mount bolt, just to have it there. And yeah, we'll do a start up then to show you that the bike still runs. We'll see, I'm not sure how this video is gonna go, but it's gonna be something like that. Just to point out as well, uh, this exhaust is made of stern stuff. I It, it had bent up and hit this uh, on the rear set here, um, which is fine, but it also like, the exhaust saved the whole back end of the bike. It just bent in. Didn't damage anything, didn't bend anything in here, thank God. Um, and I had to like bend the whole thing back out, which was really hard because it was really, really strong. The pipework in these old Jixxers is made from steel, of really strong steel of some kind, which I'm not gonna complain about now, but it's probably really heavy, so maybe I shouldn't keep it there. Oh, what are you doing, splat? So this here is the hanger I was talking about hanging back a bit lower. So that's what we're going to do here. Let's put it one more rung down and I'll tighten everything up with blue Loctite. La like I did last time, I just kind of took out one bolt at a time and re loctited everything up. I don't think this plate got bent. I think it was just the other one. So I don't think there's any harm in reusing that plate that's actually mounted on the bike. And this is the bolt, this is supposed to come as like a, a bolt you can mount from kind of like either side, um, but obviously I don't have that option with this one. I have to mount it from, uh, you know, like this side only now. I have to literally have it in there beforehand, so now it can't come out. Um, because the bolt they're supposed to send didn't come and there's no, there was no option to uh, to get it here, which is uh, a bit sucky, but you know, what what can you do? Oh, I just noticed this bit's bent as well actually, so I'm going to take that off and uh, fit the new one of them that came too. So there's a little foot, this little foot here that comes with the mass, that comes for the master cylinder. And it uh, looks like the one I had on there originally is actually after getting, yep, bent, which is okay. We can, we can fix that. So I'll spin that one off and fit the new one and we'll get everything sorted again. Not that it really matters, I can probably use the bent one. I might just use the bent one. Yeah, I might just use the bent one altogether. If I need to change it, I can change it. And there you go, we have a functioning rear brake again. So there's a little circlet pin that goes on here as well. I'll put that on later. Um, but that looks, that looks pretty good. So I'll tighten that up later. The only other thing that I don't really like, if I had a longer bolt, I'd probably put it on there. I just want to see when everything's squashed in together. That's not a whole pile of treads. Yeah, I probably, I have an extra washer on the back. I'll probably take that off and then we should be good after. Excuse me after that. I can always get one of these longer anyway. It's not the end of the world, but that's kind of that little job there um, done. So this is the total damage to the exhaust. It's not, it's not terrible. It's not good, it's not terrible, so that's kind of, it still works, it doesn't seem to leak anywhere. But this like carbon wrap that someone put on it before is kind of broken and this piece obviously um, <laughs> is no longer really holding anything on. So I might strip this off and just, like I'll probably put this exhaust back on for track days. I, I don't think it really makes sense to, um, what are you doing Splat? I don't think it really makes sense to put on my nice new exhaust for track days, so I'll probably just pop that one back on for track days. I think it makes a lot more sense. Um, also look, my first haircut from a barber's. Yeah, it's not gonna grow back ever, so it doesn't really matter. Um, what else am I gonna do? So, I'm gonna finish off these. Uh, the, I have the one for the other side as well. I'm gonna go up and get the old crash bung and just fit it in there temporarily for now with a bolt, if I have one that's long enough. Um, and then we'll throw on the fairing and then we'll see 
I pretty much fixed Jixer. Yay! Hooray! So this isn't this isn't done done yet. Um, I just wanted to test fit this uh, to make sure everything fit okay in this position and worked. Um, yeah, so that's that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave you now and then cut back to when I have this side done as well because I actually have a quick shifter coming for this. A uh, quick shifter that I ordered before I crashed the bike. Would I have ordered a quick shifter if I'd already known I was gonna crash the bike? Probably not, but that's life. Um, so we have one coming from a guy called Andre, uh, who apparently is really good. Um, I will confirm after I fit the quick shifter and use it, but he's been very good to deal with over the phone. Um, has shipped it even before I paid him, so we'll get him, we'll get him sorted. We'll get him sorted. I'm gonna go up to my house literally and pay him right now. Even though I'm broke. Um, and I have one more thing to tell everyone before we go. And so just so no one calls me a liar, we'll start the bikes as no choke. It works fine. So yeah, the bike seems to be working absolutely fine. Um, it runs, obviously I won't know how it runs runs until I get out in the road. I do have a new set of um, float bowl seals just in case I need to redo the float heights. I'm really hoping that they didn't take a bad enough knock to be affected, but we'll see. If I need to redo them, I need to redo them. It's not the end of the world. Um, but basically, that's the update in the Jigsaw. It's, it's coming back. Um, a lot of people have been asking me what's the story with, what's the story with it. So I said to make this quick video. Uh, just to show you that I have the parts coming in. They're not all here yet. The Jigsaw will be back in the road. My plan is to be back up on the 19th of July to Mondello to uh, rectify my mistakes. Um, but the actual, a larger point of this video was uh, to tell you all about some interesting news. When this comes out, I'm likely already gone um, to America for work for three weeks. So. Hopefully I will still have videos coming out. I'm actually not sure will I be able to edit enough in time before I go because being sick and stuff kind of really, really messed up my timelines as my patrons will confirm. Uh, if there's any here, please confirm in the comments that my, my early access is usually like at least two or three videos and I have, as I'm shooting this video, none up there because I'm just literally trying to stay ahead of myself. But yeah, work sent me over there for three weeks. The plan is to rent a bike and make some vlogs in America while I'm there. That would be really cool. Um, I'll be around North Carolina uh, in the east area of it, so like near Kinston. Um, if anyone who watches the channel is near there, let me know. Maybe we can go for a spin. Uh, but I also do plan on getting up to West Virginia uh, during my stay there to visit a, a, a friend who I have never met in real life, so we'll see. But yeah, that's one thing. And number two, I know there's a lot of people worried about this. You're all telling me, don't don't go on the track again with road fairings. And you're right, I agree with you. I don't want to damage these lovely road fairings. But I didn't have a choice until a very, very nice fella called Kyle, excuse me, Kyle messaged me and said, hey, I have track fairings for the s -Rad. Do you want them? And offered them to me for free, just pay postage. So. Of course, I jumped to that opportunity. He also sent me a tank and some other bits for the bike. They're not here yet. Um, but I, I can't explain to you, Kyle, how much that meant to me. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to say words to say thank, thank you other than thank you. But genuinely, yeah, th th things like that that you do for people, you don't realize the effect they have on them. Um, I, it's obviously I'm gonna have I'm gonna have those track fairings fitted for the track, and my plan with those track fairings. And by the way, Kyla has his own YouTube channel, has his own Instagram and stuff. I will leave all of the links in a pinned comment, and also in the description. Um, I just if if you have any interest in bikes at all, just go give the guy a follow. You know, boost him up for me. Um, I have no other way to pay, pay the guy back at the moment because I'm already broke from buying stuff for the bikes. Literally, um, did not plan on crashing it, so. Yeah, as, as, as to help my thank you, go go boost up his channels and stuff. I know how hard it is to grow from the get-go, so go, go give him a hand. Um, and my plan with those fairings, so what I was already gonna do is with this fairing, as soon as I found the replacement, what I, what I had planned on doing is putting stickers um, across the damaged places 
uh, for charities. So, you know, charity, charities, stickers, and, and put them on the fairing. And then the other plan was to, you know, have a vote on my patron every month and donate X percent. I don't know what that's going to be yet. Donate X percent to one of the chosen charities every month. Now, there's a couple of charities I've reached out to, um, and I want to just cover the track fairings with, with, with uh, stickers for, for charities. Link them all in my description. The ones that, ones that mean something to me. I have a few already, but I won't, I won't say anything yet because I want to make sure they're all okay with me um, sticking them up on the channel. So I've reached out to them. But if you have any charities as well that you have in mind, um, obviously it's easier for me to contact Irish ones. So if you're in Ireland, let me know. Basically, when the Jiksha goes to a track day, I want it to be advertising charities. So if people take pictures of me or you see me on a, one of my cameras or whatever else, that's what I want it for. Um, you know, maybe bring it to some events like that as well. We'll see, we'll see. But that's my plan. So yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. But basically that's that's the entire plan of the Jigsaw. It's gonna be fixed very soon. It'll be back in the road. You'll see it in videos again in its road fairing setup. And then the track fairing setup, I wanna make it like a charity bike essentially and donate X percent of my patron patronage every month to one of them on a cycle. Um, and we'll see how that works out. I, I, I haven't decided all the details yet, but I'll talk to my patrons, see what they think. And yeah, that's about it. So if you've watched, thank you very much for watching. If you are upset about the Jigsaw, it's gonna be back in the road soon. It's gonna be on the channel for a long, long, long time. Worry not. Um, and yeah, that's it really. A special thank you as always to my patrons. Um, the support, they were all so nice when I crashed the bike, which was cool, you know. Uh, some people really weren't, which is okay too. Uh, not everyone has to be nice, and nice in life, and not everything always goes right. I'm, I'm absolutely fine with crashing the bike, like I said. Um, if you didn't have any lows, and you were all highs, you'd never, you'd never know when you hit the highs, because everything would be a high, so you'd just be neutral all the time. I don't want to be neutral all the time, I like being happy. Happy is good. Um, but you have to you have to know what sadness feels like to get to those happy places. So also remember that little little life lesson from El Gorilla. Nothing is always always 100% great. Bad things happen, um, but it's not always bad. Just remember there's there's certainly something good coming around the corner. Uh, I had a not so great month uh, with a couple of different things. There's always something good coming around the corner, and Kyle was that good thing for me you know, sending me those track fairings. So like I said, so you don't realize the effect you have on people, so always try to be nice as well. But yeah, special thank you to my patrons. Massive thank you to Kyle. Yeah, and the other, and the other people who messaged me who have some ideas about the bike, thank you as well. And yeah, let me know what you think about the charity bike idea. I don't know how long this video was, I'm sorry. And yeah, until next time, thank you very much for watching and listening to me ramble as always. Adios. Outro crew. Honestly, I can't believe how lucky it was this. Look, look at the comparison. Like, this thing, this thing viewed from a few feet away is perfect. I, I, <laughs> I got so lucky. I'm 50 kg overweight apparently, according to Federico, but uh, I'm also a lucky boy. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort this out and be annoyed at AVDB for a few more minutes and yeah, bye.